have your barbecue and eat it. We had a barbecue yesterday. Um, I had lamb on there, I had chicken, we had some vegetable kebabs, we may have had some roasted potato. Um, I had it. It's not that you can't have a barbecue. It's not that you can't have the burgers and the sausages and the hot dogs and everything else. Have the barbecue. Have a life. It's not that you can or have to deny yourself of having, say, barbecues, especially with the weather being so beautiful right now. We've got to make the most of it because UK weather doesn't allow us to have many barbecues. The number of barbecues I've had over the years where I've um, had to brave the wind or um, actually cooked under an umbrella because it was chucking it down with rain. So make the most of barbecues, but make them fit in with your lifestyle. It is possible to fit them into your lifestyle, um, whereby you lead a fit, healthy and happy lifestyle that involves barbecues as well. And it is just a case of, does the barbecue, does what I'm eating and drinking at the barbecue fit into my weekly um, calorie spend um, that I can afford? So case in point, you don't have to have 15 burgers, three corn on the cobs, two steaks and everything else. I know it's easy to do. I know there's massive temptation there, but have some self-discipline, like go in there enjoy yourself but if you know that you're going to enjoy the mass barbecue um where you know you're eating all the bread you're eating all the sides and you're going back for thirds and everything like if you know that's going to happen then earlier on in the week account for that so that you don't go over your calories because if you're in the majority whereby you're saying that you want to lose weight and tone up, um, i.e. you want to feel fitter in yourself, you want clothes to fit better, you want to sleep better, you don't want to feel like you're covering up all summer, you want to feel like you can slip on those jeans that you want to wear, um, you want to just feel better in yourself. If you want all of those things, you can have all of those things, even if you have barbecued food. Um, it's just a case of working out whether the amount of barbecue you're going to eat is going to fit in with what your weekly spend is. Spend in terms of how many calories you're allowed. So say over a week you were allowed 14,000 calories, okay? And by Friday you only had 4,000 calories left for the weekend, i.e. Saturday and Sunday, then you know that if you absolutely smash it on your Saturday barbecue and say you have a thousand calories or 2000 calories or 3000 calories, whatever it is, you then know how many calories you've got left on the Sunday so that you're still in this calorie deficit because I'm going to say it over and over again. If you want to lose weight, if you want to lose fat specifically, you have to get yourself in a calorie deficit. There's no getting around it. There's no um, taking a magic pill instead. There's no fancy wrap that you can wear. There's no, um, you know, there's just no easy way around it. It's simple. It's not easy, but many people do it even though they have busy lives, even though they have tried lots of other things, when they eventually get to the point where they get a better handle of how much is going in versus how much is coming out in terms of energy, if you're burning off overall more than what you're taking in, you're gonna be chipping away at that fat, okay? We're gonna be chipping away and that's what I want for you is to chip away at that fat so that over time it disappears and to do that, Yes, I want you to take control of um, what goes into your pie hole, but I don't want you to deny yourself. I love barbecues as much as everyone else. I love having burger and chips and pizzas and stuff every now and again. And as long as I know that I'm either maintaining, i.e. I'm hitting the number of calories I need, or I'm slightly under deficit if 
I want to lose some fat, or maybe even I want to be in surplus because I want to add those extra calories in because I know I'm going to be working extra hard or because I want to build some muscle. Once you get into this routine, into this habit of um, counting those calories and knowing whether you're in a deficit or not, you then have complete control. Rather than me tell you exactly what to eat and drink, which I'm not allowed to anyway because I'm not a nutritionist, I tell you the rules, the overall framework, and then you take that framework and you make it work with your lifestyle in terms of all the things that you like eating and drinking. I hate aubergines, maybe you love aubergines. I love seafood, maybe you hate seafood. So, you know, there's so many different combinations of food and drink that we all love and hate. So it's gotta be a lifestyle that works for you. So I imagine it's a, it's a bucket, all right? It's a bucket that you can fill up with all of the food and drink that you want. But you want that bucket to be filled up to the top. You don't want it to spill over, okay? And that spillover is where we then gain the fat because that spillover, unfortunately, doesn't fall out of the bucket. What happens instead is the body takes those extra calories and adds it to your body as adipose fat, i.e. fat, okay? And if we have that bucket and we fill it almost to the top, then we're in a calorie deficit, okay? And all you need to work out then is how big is your bucket for you, for your activity level. So you could fill that bucket with just, um, with just barbecue food. You could fill that bucket up to the brim with just barbecue food for a whole week. If you were even just slightly under and all you ate was barbecue food and you filled that bucket to almost full, you would still be in a calorie deficit and you would still lose fat. But the caveat is that most people underestimate how many calories they're actually getting in and they think that they're half filling their bucket, but actually they're piling it up. It's spilling over and all those little bits of extra chicken, of extra fat from one too many drizzles of olive oil or those milks that you're having extra with your coffees or um, one or two biscuits but every day etc etc they all add up that's what piles up your bucket okay so yes going back to the title of this video of this discussion have your barbecue enjoy it just make sure that it fits into your bucket and how do you work out how big your bucket is to start with it's not an concrete number that never changes it's going to change over time but you want to know roughly where that number is right now so that then you can count your calories and work out whether you're filling your bucket to the brim or whether you're overfilling it or whether you're under filling it okay i hope that helped if you have any questions drop me a comment below this video if you're watching this anywhere else and it's not live then DM me on this number and uh, I will get back to you with any questions that you have. See you soon.